here. Today I'm just going to kind of show you guys uh, how you guys make a figure four trap um, using three sticks um, of approximate length. You know they're a little bit sh they're a little bit shorter than my forearm uh, but you know three sticks uh, about the size of your forearm will do. Uh, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys exactly how to uh, form these. So what you want to do first is you want to have uh, the ground stick or the the main trigger stick. This is one it's going to be holding all the weight. You want this to be about the size of your index finger uh, approximately uh, so that way it can hold a lot of weight. Um, what you want to do is pick a good piece. Uh, I, these are just pieces of pine um, that I have, the ponderosa pine around here that we have a lot of. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where the center weight is, just kind of look at the way that it's shaped and figure how it's going to want to uh, put weight on itself. And then you want to flatten up the bottom of it. So whatever you deem to be the bottom, I would recommend doing the uh, making the bottom the widest part um, of the actual stick itself. Um, and then up at the top, um, where this thing is going to fall, it's about here, you want to go ahead and make it an angle. So we're going to go ahead and make this an angle. So once you kind of make that an angle and you kind of get a little bit of a flat surface going there, that's going to be all you're really going to have to do to this stick until a little bit later. Uh, but we're going to want to find down here somewhere in the middle part uh, a nice spot where we can make it flat um, to match up with our, our trigger stick. Um, but for now we're going to work on our fulcrum stick which needs to be kind of up and away from the actual uh, fulcrum right here that forms when you have these two sticks kind of come together. You kind of want a little bit sticking out um, about the I don't know, about the size of your thumb is probably about good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put a notch in there that I can sit on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to taper down this end. This is going to be our locking point for the entire thing. And make sure that this fulcrum point is sitting down when we do this. So now that we have those, kind of start seeing where it's going to come together. Get that there. And then this is our trigger stick. And you can start seeing the four, figure four there with the actual trigger itself. And what we're going to do is try to line this up uh, and match it with that figure four. <laughs> Once you get done with everything, it's supposed to have a figure four look to it, uh, just like that. Um, basically, when I take oh, pressure off, <laughs> as you can see, it works really well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and test it out and see uh, see how it, see how it goes. So obviously, what you want here is uh, we have a flat rock. Okay, so it's pretty flat. It's got a lot of got a lot of base, and this is where it gets kind of tricky. So you can kind of, as you can kind of see, you kind of have to make do with how you have to set it up. But essentially it's a bunch of trial and error uh, at first until you can get everything set into place. Okay, man, that looks, that looks pretty good. So obviously we did that pretty good. Um, I think the only thing I'd really want to change is kind of move this trap inwards a little bit more and maybe put some brush or debris on either side 
but essentially you have uh, you know a a really well constructed figure four track um, this is the bait stick right here uh, here you have the you have the main stick right here and then this is the trigger stick so this is the the main trigger stick um, so I think everybody calls these things a little bit different bait stick trigger stick main stick I don't know whatever you guys want to call them but essentially this is how you arrange it um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna bait the bait stick and obviously the creature is gonna want to come under here uh, and you always want to drop the weight on them um, and that weight should always be five times whatever the creature weighs uh, so you want something heavy enough that's gonna kill it um, so you always want to you always want to you don't want it to be in any kind of distress <laughs> so that it's a little rabbit comes along and decides to get under here and eat its little snack uh, you know it's not gonna have a great day when you go to trigger it and uh, basically all it has to do is nibble here on this on this little bait stick here and uh, oh yeah there's one dead rabbit 